Hello and welcome back to another 3D printing related video. Several of you guys asked me about doing a, a quick first video of how you would get the M3D set up to work with a Mac. So I did some testing around and I found out that there's actually a bit of an issue with some of the later versions of the Mac software, probably with all the Mac software, in that you get this damaged M3D DMG file. Basically when you try to open the DMG file you get from them, it says that it's broken. Here is the information you'll need to actually get it fixed. Basically you end up installing Mono, which you can get from the Mono Project website, as you can see here. It says we're gonna copy the M3D app file over to our applications folder, go in there to our system security and privacy, and make sure that you're allowing apps to be installed from anywhere, not just from the app store and identify developers or anything. And after that, it should be good to go, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. So as you can see here, I have downloaded the Mono framework. I'm gonna go ahead and install that on my system. It's got a bunch of dependencies it's gonna be including as well. There's all the licensing info. We're gonna to agree to that and continue. And installation of that was successful. So now we ought to be able to go ahead and get the DMG unpacked. As you saw, this is the 2015 6.8 version. It said 6.18, uh, one way or another, it's version 1.3.2. So I'm gonna go ahead, open my applications directory, just to make it a little easier for me to be able to see everything. Click and drag this into the applications list. I'm also going to go into the system preferences, into security and privacy. I'm going to go into the general tab, and as you can see, mine's locked at the moment, so I have to unlock it. And now I can change it to say, allow apps downloaded from anywhere, which should allow this to run the app. So I'm going to allow from anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and lock it back. And now we should, hopefully, be able to run the M3D software. It may give us an error the first time because it was downloaded from the internet. There you go. We'll hit open says we want to make changes and I've gone ahead and given my password it says app nap must be disabled yeah I'll go ahead and disable that I don't know what that is and I never used it wait while your software loads if this is the first time it could take up to 10 minutes to finish the installation so we may go ahead and speed through this all right and there we go it says that it's ready to run it for the first time it did go ahead and pull up the m3d print spooler and then in the background I see the software is now running looks like you're using it for the first time make sure you remove your gantry protectors I've been using the printer for quite a while now those have been long gone for a while there's no models to display it doesn't show the printer because it's not actually plugged in but that should be about it so let's go ahead and move over to the printer and we'll get everything hooked up all right so I've gone ahead and moved over next to the 3d printer let me go ahead and plug it in and we'll just see what happens and it appears that it's actually doing something. It's been sitting here for a couple of minutes. Looking at the software itself, you can't tell that it's doing anything. The, the fans in the laptop have spun up significantly over the last minute or two, uh, but now it's gone back down. But if I go back in here, it does say, please wait, your printer cannot be calibrated because it's working. Hopefully that means that it's figuring it out. All right, we're here 10, 15 minutes later. I ended up doing a full reboot, had some major issues. I could not get the software to open back up again. And here's the error that I was seeing. System unauthorized exception. Access to the version info is denied. I went ahead and looked in that directory and everything was owned by root. So I took ownership of it, tried launching the app again, and it was able to launch successfully. Now it actually says the firmware on this printer is incompatible. Would you like to update now? I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. Update firmware now, yes. Just doing the firmware update and hopefully it will work appropriately. Yeah, it says ready now. Although I will say, having used this mono software just a short amount of time, it seems to be extremely buggy at this point. But there you go, it says your printer is updated, you are ready to go, your printer is up to date, you can go in and do the calibration, the advanced calibration and everything. I'm going to go ahead and try to reopen this and just see if I can get that spooler running again. And the spooler has loaded, it says the status is ready. There's my printer. It does have the orange color, so you can see it is my printer. And I'm going to go ahead and try to load an STL file to it. I just went ahead and saved one to the desktop. I'll put a link to where you can find this in the video description, but I thought I would give this a shot. It's just a test one. So there we go. It's just It says it's a ooze retract test. So let's just see if this works. Hit print. We'll do it low. We'll do it, I don't know, low fill dis density. We're not going to need any support material. We probably won't need a raft, so I'll turn all that off. And we'll just hit print says it's going to take 37 minutes. Let's start now. And you probably can't hear that, but the printer is moving. It does appear to be working appropriately, so we call that a success. I'll probably get back with you with some actual video just to show you what it looks like, but for now, it's <laughs> it's definitely early in the process. I'm not going to say that this software is really good or perfect or anything. It is running in mono, so it's not native software. It's running inside of a compatibility layer of sorts. But if you are a Mac user and you do not have a Windows machine to do this on, this might be an option for you. But that's probably going to be about all for me for today. Remember, guys, if you like this video, please do give me a like down below the video. I definitely appreciate it. And hit the subscribe button if you have not already if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out. 
Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.